Hello and welcome back to the Custom Showcase. Today we're taking a look at a figure that I've been so excited to share with you guys. This is Ascension vs Elita 1. This is how Elita 1 appears within the universe of Transformers Ascension. Um, this is probably one of my proudest customs uh, to date. I was so pleased with how she turned out. I think she looks absolutely incredible. Um, I've been very excited to share this with uh, with my greater YouTube following. Um, so I'd like to start off first by talking about some of the influences and inspirations uh, that went into creating this design. So Elita uses Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Ultra Magnus as a base um, with the Power of the Primes Elita 1 head uh, attached using some little modifications which I will go into later. The first main inspiration I got for this was from Sam Makes Toys on Twitter who designed a, a 3D printable Elita 1 figure which can actually transform into a Peterbilt similar to Movie Optimus. This design came out around a time when there was a lot of discourse about you know female transformers having all the same kind of body designs and the final straw for me was seeing uh, the netflix version of elita one um just being a straight up recolor of uh, earthrise rc and i really wanted to do something about that um so i decided to take matters into my own hands i do well i did have the power of the primes elita um i really wasn't happy with how it looked but i you know i wanted an elita one which kind of was on par with Optimus in terms of stature and kind of bulk. But I really wasn't happy with how the jet mode looked. It was just really, really ugly. It just the entire like robot mode was essentially on the underside of the jet mode. So what I wanted to do with my custom Alita was to properly incorporate the vehicle mode parts, like you can see here, actually into the robot mode rather than it being a shell. Um, it still kind of is but it's certainly a lot more integrated than uh, other attempts at Fembots and especially Elita 1. I also didn't want her to have the kind of typical feminine silhouette. I wanted her to be, you know, beefier and bulkier and look like more powerful, kind of in a similar way to how Stryker looks, um, where she is a, a big hefty tank. And the last thing I wanted to do was I wanted her to be on par with Optimus Prime. So for a quick comparison, um, here she is next to the first edition Prime Optimus Prime. Uh, as you can see there, she is ever so slightly shorter, like if you're going by the heads, than, than this version of Optimus, but they are pretty much the same height. And then if we also take a look at Earthrise Optimus Prime, there you can see he is about the same height, maybe a little shorter depending on, on your perspective. Um, but again, for both of those, for both of these Optimuses, you could definitely say that Elita is on par with them in terms of power and height. So that's really what I wanted to achieve, and I think I succeeded. Now, while Elita is pretty obviously just a straight repaint of Ultra Magnus, she does also have a brand new head. So the head is taken straight from Power of the Primes Elita 1, um, but not just the head, there's also some of the neck assembly in there as well. Um, this is because the original Ultra Magnus, um, the, the neck joint inside the collar, is completely incompatible with the um, with the head for Elita. So what I had to do was I had to cut off the neck assembly for Elita One, um, shave that off and shave well shave around that until it fit inside the collar here, and then glue it in place and fill it with this modelling putty to get a smoother, cleaner looking. Uh, collar section. One thing I could have done in retrospect is I could have cut off these little like cheek fins here just to give her some better um, head articulation. She can turn her head left and right but the kind of further you go in one direction the higher she has to raise her head like that. For vehicle mode rather than transforming her to truck mode I'll just show you the pictures of the vehicle mode that I've taken already. I did originally conceive Alita as being almost entirely pink, this quite light salmony pink. Um, but I felt that that would have been very conspicuous, just a, a, a bright pink truck on the on the roads. Um, so I elected to go for this more um, like brick red, um, which I feel looks a lot more natural. It disguises a bit better, but there's still enough kind of highlights of pink uh, on there 
uh, to kind of indicate who it is. Um, and then when you open her up into uh, robot mode, you do see a lot more pink uh, on the uh, on the details as a kind of secondary color there. I'm really pleased as well with how the blue looks on the windows. It's a really, really lovely contrast to the red. So for painting and assembly, I had to do this in a kind of funny order, but I found a workaround. Um, just because of the nature of where the head is, um, I had to save that for last in terms of assembly and painting, just so I could have, have access uh, to all the, the places that I needed to for painting. So the first step was to cut out the head and neck of the Power of the Primes figure, sand that down until it could fit inside the collar. I then disassembled the figure as much as I could and gave it a good ultrasound bath to get rid of any dirt particles or anything like that. I then sprayed her with white primer instead of black just because she uses a lot of lighter colours and there are like lots of white details on her. I painted the head and the body separately just so I could have full access to everywhere I needed to go. I then secured the neck section inside the collar using uh, Aralite cement and then covered over the rough patches with this nice modeling putty to get a smoother look. Look. The final step then was just to give her a couple layers of varnish and she was all ready to go. And there you have it, there is Ascension vs Elita 1. In the description I will link the full album of pictures of her. In the comments I will be posting uh, the next options for the custom showcase, who to vote for there, so make sure that you comment below and let me know who you want to see. Um, also let me know what you think of Elita, um, any other questions you might have about her, I'll be happy to answer those. Don't forget too, I have a Patreon, there's a link in the description and also at the end of the video. Um, if you support me on there, you get access to exclusive posts and polls. Um, you also get early access to videos a couple days before they go live on YouTube. So if you fancy helping out the channel, you know, helping me license uh, music or, you know, buying new um, special effects, then uh, do consider supporting me there. And it's, it's all really appreciated. Until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in to this latest custom showcase and I'll see you around. Take care.